Hello and greetings from Iceland, where the Geldingadalera eruption has returned to a regular pattern of activity. And it was interesting to observe the pulse in the crater last night, or around uh, 8 pulses per hour, each and every one sending up some lava, but this is a sample from the webcam last night, and uh, this is how the Christmas lights in Reykjavik might look like. But uh, let's stick to last night. At closer look, we can see the four new events. They are to the left of the crater. Experts say that the magma channel up to the crater just got uh, blocked for some reason, but for sure it didn't uh, look uh, blocked uh, last night. And uh, it started to look a bit like uh, activity in geysers, or that is what our experts uh, say now. But uh, then we know very little when it comes to this eruption. So let's move on to earthquakes the news of today. I was just noticing that there is something different now, something that uh, might matter or not, but the earthquake storm that bothered us the days before the eruption, it uh, decreased after the eruption started, and uh, what we got from them was that uh, we had the best indication of where the eruption would uh, finally come up, so let's uh, check out the map, and the first live webcam that was uh, set up was around here, to overlook this mountain, Mount Kaelir. This was the suspicious spot for a while. It's also closer to the capital, and the lava would have closed the main road to Keplavik International Airport, if it would have erupted there. So we were lucky that uh, this occurred where it did. And after the intrusion had the teased us a bit under Mount Kaelir and there around, it took off to southwest. That is when we placed the next web camera in a not high valley. That was while the ground was shaking every hour during this very exciting weekend, and for a while we were guessing if we would see an offshore eruption, since the intrusion was just moving so fast to southwest. But then the eruption started, and you know the rest. So the question that came to my mind is. If the eruption is not tapping sufficient pressure from whatever kind of magma chamber there is to be found under there, if that is the case, is this uh, a new intrusion continuing to break its way to the surface under Mount Kaelir? Could this be the beginning of uh, another chapter? I want to tell you though that the earthquakes we are talking about, they are not large and still deep. So I'm not going to say that uh, I believe there is an eruption on the way. I'm just saying that uh, with this uh, blocked channel in mind and the new vents, those earthquakes are unusual, so feel free to comment as usual. And uh, as usual, I'm also linking again to the seismometers live feed for this and everything else that is going on in my country. And I want to say that I have not heard anything from experts about this. This is new. But I'm sure that if those uh, earthquakes uh, continue, they will say something, and I will listen, for sure. And then to some statistics, but the crater rim is now 334 meters above the sea level, meaning that one of my wishes in this life is coming through, or that a sealed volcano could uh, work as a wind shelter for the capital of Iceland. They really need it there. It would be the best Christmas gift for them. But uh, as for the lava up there, it's around 143 million cubic meters. That has been spread over uh, 4.6 kilometers of land. But the good news is that uh, the land that was lost there, not even our ship will miss it. And it instantly turned into this uh, tourist hotspot instead. But it is not worthy that the lava is piling up now rather than spreading out. So the lava field hasn't increased so much in the past month, but the lava field is getting thicker, and the crater has become a small but very steep mini shield volcano, and perhaps a sign of what is to come, a giant shield volcano, just beside our city. And then I'm going to mention the lava discharge, but the lava flow peaked last month, but for the last 30 days, it measures around 8.5 cubic meters per second, on average. We did, however, see it pump up double that amount only in last month, as it was peaking, and to see it peaking five months after it started is also strange. 
but again, it's not for me to read anything out from it. And finally, it is no surprise to me, to be honest, that scientists say that uh, there is no way to predict when the eruption will finish based on its uh, many patterns. We are just seeing chapter after chapter in a live broadcast here from Iceland and, uh, and always when I think it's over, it's something new, totally unpredictable. So as usual, it's not for me to predict anything. I only want to go as far as to say that uh, we will most likely have some very natural Christmas lights around Reykjavik next December, but uh, hopefully not uh, closer to the city than we have them now, if that volcano decides that uh, one crater isn't enough. And with that, I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland.